Now, you see, when you have a living word, the living word is so strong that it carries with it the power of preservation. After my youth service, I spent some time fasting and praying and asking God for direction. While praying, the Lord now spoke to me and said, go to Kano. Go to Kano. And when he spoke that word to me, there was riot in Kano. Everybody was running out of Kano. And God was telling me, go to Kano. I have an assignment for you in Kano. Meanwhile, when I was doing my youth service, there were several people that I was discipling who were into praying and Bible study. Praying and Bible study. And it was becoming sweeter and sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. We had Muslims join the company of people that were praying and coming for Bible study. Hallelujah. And it, I never knew that what I was doing was dear to the heart of God. And so when I left and came back and began to pray, I said, Lord, what next? He said, go back to Kanu. By the time I got back to Kanu, the disciples have bound themselves with a fast for 40 days. That if God does not send me back, they will continue fasting. Then the Holy Spirit went in response to their prayers and gave me a living word, go to Kanu. Do you realize that as part of the word, go to Kanu, my protection in the time of crisis was part of that word. As part of the word, go to Kanu, my provision for the direction that I'm going to, for the duration that that word um, lasts, my provision is guaranteed by Koto Kano, because the word is living. Whereas you may even forget that God said go to Kano somewhere along the line. All right? Are you with me now? And then an event now happens, and you experience a mighty deliverance, and then you now go back to God and say, "Wow." What a deliverance. Then he said, well, you are in Kano at my expense. Because I said, go to Kano. So that word is still alive. Three months later, the word was still alive. Eight months later. And then a time came where because of the many things that began to happen, I was conscious of that word. That that word, and the word was efficacious for two years, four months. After two years, four months, the Lord appeared again and said, resign. Meanwhile, after two years, four months, the ministry had grown. We had massive crusades. We were gathering thousands of people, more than thousands, thousands of people. A whole field of heads were gathering. And all kinds of stuff taking place. It was so strong that sometimes Muslims will come and call you. and say, Then take you to the, their backyard. And say, I heard you want to do that crusade again. And say, this is my own contribution. But I will not come. But I'll be hearing it. From that small, small speaker. You face one like this. I'll, I'll hear it. But I'll not be there. And when you see me on the road, don't greet me. Alright, I became that strong. And in the midst of that, I started enjoying it. started liking the fact that God said I should go to Kano. And then suddenly... The word expired. The life in it was taken away because there was another instruction that came. Leave Kano. I left Kano in the height of a revival. I left Kano when, when they increased my salary where I was working. They increased my salary. And I just gone one month with this increase in salary. And then God now said, leave Kano. All right? So I...